Hello, hello, you amazing and wonderful people. Let me get this a little closer. I'm here to tell you that God loves you. I love you. You're my neighbor. You're my brother and sister in Christ. And I love you. But more importantly, God loves you. That means nothing you've ever lost. Nothing that's ever been taken away from you. No great high or no great upset defines you because God loves you. And when God loves you, what else matter? Who else matters? What thing matters? The Bible says you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Look at me. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. So since you're fearfully and wonderfully made, what else really matters? Let, let me put it in the context. The same God that created the universe and the sky. You ever seen a beautiful sunrise or a beautiful sunset? And it's auburn and these yellows and just gorgeous. The God that created that looks at you and go, you're beautiful. You're wonderful. Isn't that amazing? The God of the universe wants a relationship with you. The God of the universe wants to know you in a deeper and truer way and for you to know him in a deeper and truer way. Moses on the mountain asked God his name because God tells Moses, hey, go to the Pharaoh, the most powerful uh, man on the planet, the most who has armies and chariots and destroys nations with a snap of his finger. Go to him and tell him to let all his labor, his slave force, the Jews go. Moses is terrified and say, OK, when I go tell the Jews and everybody all of this, who am I going to tell them sent me? And he says, I am that I am. That word is Yahweh. I am that I am or I will be what I will be. That means everything you need, God is. I am that I am. And if he wasn't it, he'd become it when you needed it. I will be what I will be, Yahweh. Everything you need is in Christ. Everything you need is in Yahweh, Father, God. He breaks down a scripture on servants and the blessings of servants and then on the blessings of children, the children of God, of sons, and the difference was this. Servants are blessed. They eat from the master's table. They live in the master's house. They are protected uh, under the master's protection. That's a servant. But thanks to Jesus, we're not servants of God. We're his children, beloved. It says his spirit, Jesus' spirit cries out, Abba, to God. That means that God is not our just our master, but he's also our father that loves us, that made us, the Bible says, fearfully and wonderfully made. That means God was fearful, respectful, intentional when he made you. And after he finished, he says, you're wonderful. So anyway, just know this morning that you're wonderful. You're absolutely wonderful. I love you. God bless you. And uh, I'll leave a link maybe somewhere in here. I'd love to spend more time with you um, in some, maybe a sit down format and uh, just tell you about the gospel, tell you how much the Lord loves you. So Anyway, God bless you. I'll talk to you soon.